हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ यूनिट सेवन यूजीसी जी सी ने फॉरेंसिक साइंस इन दिस पार्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट ग्लास सीमेंट मोर्टार एंड कंक्रीट स्टार्टिंग विद ग्लास इट इज एन इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस एंड इट इज आल्सो नोन एज सूडो सॉलिड और सुपर कोल्ड लिक्विड द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास इज वन टू वन Lead crystal glass density is 3.1 gram per milliliter. Based on their use, glass uh, types are classified as sheet or flat glass, which is used to make windows, windshields, light bulbs, etc. Container glass used to make bottles, drinking glasses, etc. Glass fibers used to make fiber glass, fiber optic cables. non oxide semiconductor glasses are calcogenite glasses so in these calcogens are added that are sulfur selenium tellurium including oxygen these are used to make uh, optical disc or uh, computer related other uh, things memory devices etc now the various types of glasses based on their composition so the basic uh, structure of glass includes silica oxide when sodium gets attached to uh, this it is known as soda glass in some glasses sodium carbonate is added to lower the melting point of the glass when instead of sodium calcium is added to the uh, basic structure of the glass or silica oxide it is known as quartz with relative density 2.65 when both of these are added sodium oxide and calcium oxide this type of glass is known as soda lime glass calcium oxide is basically uh, used to stabilize the glass so that it will not be easily dissolved in solvents now the ordinary glass it is made up of sodium or calcium silicate with annealing temperature 500 to 650 degree celsius annealing is the process of slow heating and cooling of the glass to make it hard another one is heat resistant glass which is made up of 80% silica 4% so sodium oxide 0.5% potassium oxide 13% calcium oxide and 2% aluminum oxide the basic composition of optical glass is 35% silica 7% potassium oxide 58% lead oxide antimony oxide is also used sometimes to re remove bubbles to decolorize the glass or as an stabilizing agent and with the ad, uh, addition of antimony oxide it is uh, used to produce emerald green glass barium oxide is used for the manufacturing of optical crown glass colored glass so to the ordinary uh, glass structure when chromium oxide is added it will produce green color cobalt oxide oxide to blue color sulfur or iron oxide to form brown colored glass and uh, colloidal particles of copper gold or selenium to produce red colored glass sun glasses are made up of rare element oxide along with the basic structure sodium calcium silicate now borosilicate or pyrex glasses borosilicate glassware that we use in laboratory these type of glasses have more than 5% boron and they have low thermal expansion and uh, resistant to acid corrosion that is why they are used in uh, use in laboratory as uh, lab apparatus or glass apparatus which we use or in uh, kitchen Pyrex is the brand that introduced these glasses so these are also known as Pyrex glasses now aluminosilicate glass it has high percentage of alumina and 
colloidal particles of silver halide along with the basic structure of the glass that is silica these are light sensitive glass and also alkali resistant and have higher resistivity as compared to the uh, borosilicate glasses lead alkali silicate glass it contains 80% lead oxide used in artificial jewelry decorative crystal items chandeliers nylon uh, sign cubings etc where these are cut in such a way so that they will uh, give more reflection reflection as in jhumar uh, or jewelry or these things the various types of safety glasses are first tempered glass it is made by rapid heating and cooling of the glass surface so uh, more stress is there when it shatters when it breaks it does not shatter but it will fragment into so small squares these type of glasses are used in side and rear windows of vehicle or in mobile phones another type is laminated glass so these are prepared by adding a layer of plastic between two glasses so when these uh, glasses break this layer of plastic will uh, not let them shatter or to produce more injuries by flying uh, the particles wire type of glass in which uh, in an ordinary glass when matched wire is embedded these are known as wire safety glass and used in wind shields fire safety etc bullet proof glass are made up of two type two or more types of glass one hard one soft and the refractive index of both the glasses should be same so that uh, we can see through them blue colored safety glass is composed of aluminum calcium magnesium and cobalt now the various types of glass fractures first is the radial fracture when an object hit the glass it will form a spider web like structure so this is known as radial crack or radial fractures as you can see here it is somewhat star shaped there is a 3 hour rule for radial fractures they radiate outwards and it will be to uh, on the reverse side to the point of the impact not on that side to the reverse side and are at right angle now the other type of fractures are concentric fractures these are the uh, as you can see here from the blue the broken circles they appear towards the uh, uh, on the same side as the point of impact these ones are at the reverse side these ones are at the same side of the point of impact these are also known as secondary fractures they appear after the radial fracture now cone fracture so when a bullet enters the glass so it will create a round shaped hole so this hole is known as the, this fracture is known as cone fracture and Uh, this hole is wider on the exit side and gives cone like appearance so the green one represents cone fracture blue one concentric pack fracture and uh, red one is representing radial fractures rib or stress line are the curved lines that are present on the edge of the broken glass these lines are perpendicular to uh, the radial fracture and concentric uh, sorry tangential to the concentric fractures heckel marks are uh, perpendicular to the rib lines so these lines are perpendicular to the concentric fractures and tangent to the radial fractures 
heat or wavy fractures so these do not show a regular breakage pattern and are generally wavy these are uh, due to the expansion of glass uh, because of heat the glass splinters will fall on the side of heat impact and the ridge lines will be smooth with no point of origin conchoidal fractures are uh, uh, fractures on a surface that resembles rippling or small waves now the various compounds and the color of the glass ferrous oxide bluish green color cobalt nickel uh, cobalt or nickel blue color cadmium yellow color chromium dark green color now the forensic significance of glass examination it will tell us the sequence of holes in glass because the second hole will uh, the fracture lines of the second hole will be stopped by the already uh, present fracture lines of the first hole so there will be a complete fracture pattern of the first hole and somewhat incomplete or the fracture line will, will get stopped due to the first one of the second or third hole next is angle of impact in glass so if we fire a bullet perpendicularly it will create a round hole and when the angle changes the fracture glass fracture will also be be changed it will give an indication about the velocity and distance of firing as in case of high velocity bullet it will make an in, uh, circular hole while bullet fired from close range it will not make a hole it will shatter the whole glass due to muzzle blast another thing is backward fragmentation so uh, backward fragmentation towards the suspect will uh, be a trace evidence to collect, connect the suspect to the crime scene or the crime now the analysis of the uh, of glass first is physical matching or contour matching this is edge by edge fitting of the glass particles to see whether they are from the same source or not next is photoluminescence another one hot stage microscope it is used to measure refractive index density of the glass is determined by free flotation method in which there will be a beaker filled with a solvent such as water and when the glass particle is put inside that beaker the volume of liquid replaced by the glass particle it will be its volume and uh, the mass uh, we will calculate the density by mass upon volume there is also uh, another method for to determine the refractive index of the glass that is beckelein method in which the glass particle is placed in a uh, liquid if the uh, liquid and the glass particle have the same refractive index the glass particle would seem seem to disappear if the beckel line is inside uh, the glass particle is uh, sh inside the glass particle so it represents that the refractive index of glass is more than that of the liquid if the beckel line is outside the glass particle so it will represent that the uh, refractive index of the liquid is more than that of the glass particle and in case when there is no beckel line so the refractive index of both the glass and the liquid would be same now mohs scale uh, is developed by frederick mohs in 1822 and it is used for measuring hardness of the glass polarimeter is used to examine angle of rotation caused by uh, passing a Uh, polarized light through an optically active material or through a, a through glass now reflective in uh, refractive index it is given by the formula uh, of snell's law n1 sin theta is equals to n2 sin theta 
refractive index is to uh, examine how the light will get uh, refracted or bend when it passes from one medium to another. For elemental analysis of glass, there are ICPMS, AAS, NAA, SEM-EDAS, Grim Agrim. Grim Agrim is glass refractive index measurement or automated glass refractive index measurement. And it uses temperature variation to measure to measure refractive index of the glass. And temperature is inversely proportional to refractive index. Cement, so it is the monosilicate or aluminate of calcium which is soluble in dilute acid or alkali. During gravimetric method for analysis of cement, filtrate D is used for the calculation of calcium oxide present in the cement. Wicket apparatus is used to determine the quantity of water needed uh, to add in the cement for a standard consistency. As we all know, if the, cement, uh, the consistency of cement is not right, it can cause uh, hazardous accidents. Now, the constituents of cement, dicalcium silicate 30%, tricalcium silicate 40 tricalcium aluminate 11 tricalcium aluminoferrite 11 Portland, uh, Portland cement, it is uh, uh, obtained by mixing calcareous, agrilaceous, silica, alumina, iron oxide, etc. Uh, all these materials and burning them at one four, uh, 1450 to 1500 degrees Celsius in a rotating kiln and grinding. Uh, Joseph Espiden gave the name Portland cement because it, this cement resembles the stone colors from Portland. The composition of Portland cement is lime 60-67 percent, silica 17 to 25 percent, alumina 3 to 8 percent, iron oxide 0. 0.5 to 6, magnesia 0. 0.1 to 4, soda and, uh, and potash 0. 0.2 to 1, sulfur trioxide 1 to 2.75, sulfur trioxide 1 to 2.75. Free lime 0 to 1. The types of cement, the first is rapid hardening Portland cement. So the finer the particles, the more uh, quickly it will get hardened. So the Portland cement composition remains the same, but the particles are grounded finer. Now the quick settling Portland cement, it is composed of 9.5 to 4 parts of alpha gypsum and 0.5 to 6 parts of Portland cement along with the dispersant. White Portland cement contains iron oxide. Waterproof Portland cement contains calcium stearate or non-saponifiable oil. So this oil will help in making the cement waterproof at, as it will form a layer and oil and water will not mix, mix. Hydrophobic cement, it is made by adding a water repellent film forming substance such as fatty acid to reduce the rate of deterioration uh, of the cement. Low heat Portland cement, it contains a low percentage of tricalcium aluminate, high percentage of dicalcium silicate. Portland pozzolana cement. So in this type, pozzolanic material like brick, pie, uh, brick powder, fly ash are added. Uh, 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 approx 20 to 40 percent of these material are added. So this is used in the preparation of plastic material. Now concrete, it is a, a hard mass obtained using sand, coarse stone, water and cement. Mortar, it is the mixture of sand and cement and is used for plastering the brick work. 
so cement is the uh, powder have powder like appearance when uh, sand is added to it it is known as mortar when water coarse stone sand all these added to it it is known as concrete the analysis of cement thymol thalin test in which 0.1% thymolthenin indicator in ethyl alcohol or ethanol it is used in the presence of cement it will produce a blue color for the determination of calcium edta titration math method is used in the presence of pattern readers indicator to determine the percentage of cement acid titration method is used 0.5 g of cement is taken in a conical flask 0.5 normal hcl 50 ml is added the mixture is digested on the water bath for 30 minutes then 50 ml water is again uh, 50 ml of water is added and the whole uh, solution was titrated with 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide using phenolphthalein as an indicator the percentage of cement is given by 28 into normality of naoh into difference in the reading by 3 thank you for watching for more such videos stay tuned to my youtube channel vidhi vigyan thank you